summer sun is just around the corner, which means it's popsicle season. We're making homemade popsicles today. I have three recipes to share with you. A mango mint, a chocolate peanut butter banana, and a pineapple coconut. You can find all three recipes loaded at thewellnesskitchenista.com. My name is Jessica D. Louise. I'm a physician assistant and certified culinary medicine specialist, and I share all the foods you love in exciting, fresh, and nutrient-dense ways. We're just elevating those ingredients, and it's practical, and it's budget friendly. Make sure that you're following me here on Instagram, on TikTok, and subscribing to my YouTube channel for all of my videos. Many more recipes just like this one. And I have to give a big shout out to our highlighted ingredient today, which is Muala. I use Muala every day. I use their almond milk in my coffee. I use the banana milk in my baked recipes. Yes, banana milk. Now I discovered Muala a couple of years ago when I was looking for a plant-based milk. Sometimes the dairy doesn't really agree with me, so I was switching over to plant-based. I found Muala. It's a banana milk, right? Now they have so many other varieties. They have coffee creamers that are delicious, but the original was the banana milk, and it's sweet because of the banana, because of the fruit, without any added sugar, without any artificial ingredients, and it really, the texture of it, you'd think it's thick, like almost like a pureed banana. It's not. It's just like another plant-based milk that you would enjoy on the market, like an almond milk. It's absolutely delicious, and I'm so excited to use it in these recipes. As I mentioned, the recipes are all loaded at thewellnesskitchenews.com. I will have all of the ingredients linked. I will have the popsicle molds that I'm using today linked. I will also share with you that one lucky person is going to get a free six pack of this shelf stable Muwala. And that way you can make these recipes at home. And if you haven't tried Muwala yet, I'm really excited if you win to try it because it's one of my favorites. And I say that genuinely, even though I partner with them a lot, um, it's one of the things that I really do have in my kitchen every single day and I'm using it every single day. So here is how you win the free six pack of the shelf stable. So you always have it in your cupboard. It's ready to go, ready to use. All you have to do is follow me, follow Mawala, and comment below the video. You don't have to do anything special. Comment below and tell us if you already are using it, if you love it, if you're excited to try it, and then just follow along. Mawala has so many recipes that they share. I have so many recipes that I share, so trust me, you will get lots of added value by following us here on Instagram. And you will have one week for the, the winner to be chosen. So from today all the way to May 9th, one full week, you can comment below this video and follow us, and then we'll be choosing a winner next week. So, good luck, good luck, good luck. And if you see me while at the store, pick it up in the interim. All right, let's get cooking. So, I have two of the varieties that we chatted about already done. I have the mango mint, and I have the chocolate peanut butter banana. They're already done in the freezer. I'm going to share those, what they look like when they're all, all said and done. But here's how I did it. So, let's make the coconut pineapple together here. I'm used to using a blender. You could use a food processor. Um, nothing fancy, no equipment needed. It takes about five minutes to make this recipe, so let's, let's hit it. Fresh pineapple. Fresh or frozen pineapple or fresh or frozen fruits and veggies is always a question I get asked. Either one is fine. Nutrient uh, density of both fresh versus frozen, they're about the same, actually. And sometimes frozen are really convenient to have, um, you know, just stocked up on. They're really convenient just to throw into a weeknight dinner. So very easy to keep things stocked. They're often gonna be less expensive than fresh too. So if you wanna get frozen, go for it. I just have to have the fresh. Uh, so we do about a cup of that. And then I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Now, just look for unsweetened. You wanna make sure that, um, shredded coconut is one of those places where there's lots of added sugar. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the unsweetened. It's right next to each other at the grocery store. The thing I love about making food at home, specifically these popsicles, is there isn't any added sugar. Just like our Muala doesn't have any added sugar, you're getting so much sugar. I actually looked at some of the labels of some popsicles in the store. Sometimes two teaspoons of sugar, added sugar, just added sugar, not like fruit sugar, but added sugar in those popsicles. Not to mention some of the other things like, I don't know, artificial colors, artificial flavors. I don't want any of that stuff. And I really do try to live by the 80-20 rule but I want, to inc I want to enjoy popsicles 100% of the time, so that's why I'm choosing to make them at home and really being mindful of what I'm adding there. So I'm adding pineapple, I'm adding my coconut. This is coconut extracts. In the spice aisle, when you see vanilla extract, lemon extract, coconut is one of those options. It just brings the coconut flavor to the next level. If you don't love coconut as much, just do a pineapple with a little vanilla extract. And we did about a cup of the pineapple, we did about, uh, I don't know, a couple tablespoons to a quarter cup of the shredded coconut, and then about a teaspoon of that coconut extract. 
it doesn't really have to be precise. The great thing about these popsicle recipes is you can follow my recipe, but you could also shimmy it a little, shift it a little, make it what your family really likes. And then we add about a cup of our muala. So we put that on the blender, we blipped it up. We, I like to keep it a little chunky for this particular flavor because I really do love those little pieces of shredded coconut. So once it gets to the desired thickness, you're gonna put it into your popsicle molds. I already have some that's done right here. So good. Mm. And this recipe to me just smells like vacation. I mean, it's so refreshing and so tropical. It really just it really tastes like a pina colada. So if you like pina coladas, this is for you. So you take the popsicle mold. This is great. This is a silicone mold. And I've tried a lot of molds on the market. This one in particular, the silicone just makes it so much easier to get those popsicles out once you make them. So we use the, I'm actually gonna forego. They come with little funnels. I'm gonna forego the funnels. I'm just gonna use my spoon. And you fill up each mold to the top, just like that. You don't have to pre-grease these or anything. They just come right out. So it's really easy, really nice. And we're gonna use this little popsicle stick that comes with it. It goes in, pop it into the freezer for about four hours until they're fully solid. And I'm gonna show you what they look like when they come out. And I'm gonna show you how easily they come out of these molds. This is so great. These are dishwasher safe. You can bend them to pop out the, the popsicles. You'll see it here in just a second. Let me show you what we got going on. I've already done, as I mentioned, the chocolate, the chocolate peanut butter banana. So I'm gonna pull those out of the freezer. I'm going to show you how to finish those off. And I'm also going to grab the mango mint, and we're going to make an adult cocktail variety with those mango mint pops. So let me show you what we got going on here. So here's the chocolate peanut butter banana. Here is what they look like already done. Do those not look like the cutest? I'm telling you. And then here's how easy they come out of these molds. So again, they're silicone. They're not, I, I, if I drop my mold, it's not going to crack. It comes with these little tabs. I love it. So. I will link this in the recipe on the wellnesskitchenista.com. See, I just gave a little push up to the bottom, and there you go. It's perfect. I just kind of squeeze it, push up, and they pop right out. Sometimes you gotta give it a little bit of finesse, a little bit of elbow grease, but that's okay. There you go. Great. Popsicles, right? They're delicious, just like this. I, all I added in this one is my Muala banana milk, actual fresh bananas, mm, a little almond butter, a little vanilla extract, but no sugar needed at all. Again, you're getting lots of sweetness from that muala banana milk. So I'm going to just arrange them here. I've turned on a double boiler, which looks like this if you've never seen one. So at the bottom of a double boiler, you put water and then the steam melts chocolate. So what I'm going to do is melt a few chocolate chips and I have this going and then I'm gonna drizzle the chocolate chips on my ice pops. So I have stevia sweetened chocolate chips. Again, just like the unsweetened coconut, you just gotta look for it at the store. They're right next to the regular chocolate chips. We're gonna pop those into our pan. Always adding only about half of your chocolate into your pan, reserving the rest of it. You wanna temper chocolate. Once you burn chocolate, it seizes up, it doesn't drizzle nicely, and you're done for. So you wanna make sure that you keep, keep, it, keep an eye on it. Make sure it only, um, it just melts, and then you pull it off the heat, add the cold chocolate, whisk it together, and then it's ready to go. So that's a little trick. You never want to overdo it, because once you overdo it, it's, you have to trash it. It's not even usable, okay? As that's melting, we're gonna keep a very close, kind of peripheral eye on it. Let's use some of these ice pops to make an adult cocktail. Because of course these ice pops, like I said, I like to enjoy ice pops 100% of the time. I like cocktails a little bit on the weekends, right? So kind of a fun thing to do. So here's the mango mint. I just used frozen mango, fresh mint, and a little vanilla extract plus my muala just to you know make sure that things kind of pureed nicely and you get these really bright color with little flecks brightly colored orange little flecks of green ice pops now you say this is not this does not look like your ice pop mold jess you're right i just wanted to show you an option in case you don't have popsicle molds if you order them i'm going to link them in the recipe like i said if you want to order them great but if you don't have them right away and you want to make this recipe all you do is use an ice cube tray and a plastic spoon. That's all you have to do. I would not use a plastic fork or knife because you might uh, poke your mouth, but uh, a spoon is perfect. And then you just pop them out of your ice cube tray and there you go. So let's make a cocktail, right? Let's, let's see how to use these ice pops in an adult way. A little piece of pineapple on your rocks glass because you're fancy. 
your favorite alcohol. So I'm using a little bit of rum. I'm going to close on that chocolate. So about a shot. Okay. Now I'm using rum. You can use vodka. You can use whatever you want. A little bit of pineapple juice just to flavor it up. And then you just take your mango mint popsicle and pop that right in instead of an ice cube. How cute is that? Great for a party. Great for just you know a long work week. And there you go. Super cute. Just another way to use these popsicles. So you're using the popsicles. You know, you could always do leftover coffee, right? You do a leftover iced coffee popsicle. All right. So it looks like our chocolate is just about melted. Let me pull that off and remove this off the heat. I'll get a spoon and you can see about half of it is melted. Half of it is still solid. So I just mix the whole thing up. Nice and tempered, it's glossy, it's velvety, it's delicious. And you just drizzle it over. These are the banana chocolate peanut butter, just like that. And you just kind of drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And as soon as the chocolate hits these ice pops, oh my gosh, it freezes like a hard shell. And it does not have to be fancy. In fact, I'm kind of messy with it right now. But come on, look at this. How gorgeous is that? Mmm, so delicious. So, don't forget, follow myself, follow Mawala. Thank you so much, Mawala, for bringing these amazing popsicle recipes to everyone out there. And the full recipes are loaded at thewellnesskitchenista.com. I'll have all of my ingredients, all of my tools linked there. Enjoy, you guys. See you next time. Don't forget to follow me here on Instagram and subscribe to YouTube for more recipes and tips just like this one. Bye. Mmm, mmm, so good.